Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. My name is Wilfred. So if you recall, a while back, I've done Azure Void Crusade facing the Chaos Knights, and it was really, really hard uh, during my leveling days. And uh, from then on, I haven't really gone back to Azure um, Void Crusade at all because just how tough it is. And it is very different from the rest of the Void Crusade as well. The map is uh, very small. And uh, but the boss is very very powerful. Um, and ever since the, um, I've started playing the level 100, I haven't really revisited uh, this Azure Void Crusade until now, which I've um, I managed to you know try to do a level 110 map for the for the best reward. Now, um, in this game, as I recall, after you become level 100, you can tackle higher difficulties level. And uh, it could be through how you progress in the Void Crusade with all the plus uh, difficulties uh, as you as you leading up to the Supreme Mission. This is the very last mission, uh, or you can use Terra Card uh, to to make it happen as well. Um, I use a Terra Card for this particular one. Uh, add two level to one hundred eight, become one one zero, and uh, in doing so, I forego any uh, resurrection card kind of like you know. Um, upon defeat so one life uh, one chance to get it sorted and uh, one one supreme mission to to go for uh, azure supreme mission has altogether if you want to do the whole full uh, void crusade it has about uh, 26 missions including the supreme mission so it's a quite a fair bit of time investment um like maybe two and a half hours if not more before we get to here and it is one life only and um and of course <laughs> who is trying to get it sorted. Now, uh, this boss design is really interesting. If you are a melee character, it does uh, a few melee kind of attack, um, like, the, like, the, like the fireball, uh, you see there on the ground, like the, uh, the stomping, as well as the, you know, um, as well as the mine that, or explosion, like right now here, that, that drop on the floor, you need to sort of like move away from the explosion, otherwise it hit really, really bad. But if you try to move a little bit uh, further down, um, you would actually get the uh, missile that hurt really bad as well. So uh, whether you're ranged or melee, this boss is not going to be straightforward. Um, I found that the best way to, do the, uh, to, to defeat this boss is to use a weapon that can ignore at least half of half if not all the armor so uh, a great sword that i've used would not made it because it kind of like um, that the armor will mitigate damage and the other one is that i'm using a great axe right now uh, two abilities out of four ignore half of the armor so it's not too bad and also i'm having a bleed build as well to make it um, make it like you know once i kite it a little bit further it still does the damage uh taking as it is um and the uh I, I believe the most ideal weapon as a crusader against this boss would be the uh the thunder hammer because that has two ability that's armor piercing they ignore all the uh all the armor of this uh this boss now um if you are very like if you have a keen eyes on on this particular kind of like um a map or fight you will see that there's constantly a blue ray or beam that go into the boss and i believe that is a tower that regenerate the uh, the shield or the armor for the boss so i should have what i should have done is to take down that regenerative pa uh, tower first and to uh, tackle this boss so something that i learned is my second uh, attempt to do this boss once during my leveling days another one uh, now i'm at level 100 um, yeah so so that is something i would do differently the next time I tackle this. Uh, the reason why I don't want to go too far in front is that uh, from my memory I recall there's quite a lot of mobs uh, in front with the turret and so on so I wouldn't want to aggro too many too many kind of like um, uh, ads onto me but having said that I mean there's still two waves of ads that the boss summoned as his health uh, come down so um, just a little bit of cautious there I uh, have to remember to take down some of this ads uh, while keeping some that uh, like like what I do right now is keeping some that um, that help me to buff my uh, damage buff on hit uh, because I know that it's not really harming harming me too badly uh, and so on yeah um, so yeah I mean it's a little bit of uh, strategy there but oh no I'm very happy that I got it down but that is not really over yet the next group of enemies are really really hard as well this kind of champion there are like all four of them. It really burned down my armor and they come with a bunch as well. 
I was only I was like overwhelmed. One life left, and um, and I was fighting really hard to to get get them down as well because I'm running low in the uh, in health uh, heals. I'm running low in the shields as well. But um, but it's just a little bit of determination to. I mean, I, I mean, the worst sort of over, but um, but these are pretty hard stuff. And there's also a bunker as well. And uh, I mean, the bunker does does do damage to me, not that high, but uh, it's always good to take down the bunker. Took me a while, but the turret behind the bunker is the one that is really really hard as well. They 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 bomb very very hard uh, on on those bunk uh, turrets. So even if I get close to them, um, it seems to me that I have to keep moving but uh, I was just a little bit too uh, too lazy towards the end I, I I believe I have enough shield to eat all the damage and uh, wow look at that one shot is already down to the skull level imagine touch wood if that was a that was a defeat then all my hard work uh, will get nullified uh, through, this, through this mistake of mine but anyway I'm happy that I could take the damage uh, 110 is possibly what I can do right now anything beyond that would be rather rather hard I think but who knows I mean if I get better gear maybe with um, with a different kind of weapon or set yeah I mean that could be it again it's loot time uh, with the info fragment I'm able to kind of guess what are the uh, the boxes and and so if I live with, with a little bit of luck, then I shouldn't be picking up the uh, Akio Tet Shard, which is kind of useless to me, as well as the uh, Sam Coat as well. Those are, I've got plenty. So um, I'm pretty happy that my luck was pretty good. So I managed to pick all the uh, all the stuff that um, that really works for me. And as you can see later on, um, I don't think there is, uh, there may be one upgrade. Uh, I've got a pretty, pretty decent Archaeotech, which is six enchants, six, six enchants, the highest uh, you can get in this game so far. So I've got one of those items that I may be able to use. Um, I've also got some of the morality gear, which is the green car gear, um, that that I could kind of play around with as well. But these are, I mean, those were not really that great. So. Um, who knows? I mean, I'm, I may just uh, give me a bit of like exploration as to you know, what to do with the with the gear and so on. Um, so yeah, with that said, I mean that is the end of the Void Crusade Azure. I've managed to conquer my fear. Put in this way, I've been thinking about this for a very very long time because knowing how tough it is, I was like um, put. I, I've been putting it off for a very long time, but I'm glad that um, I, I I've done it. I made it and. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to the next uh, level journey. Maybe try some kind of like a different combination of weapon. Maybe try a one hand weapon with a shield. Try some guns, and I don't know who knows. And by the way, I mean, um, you know, I'm still playing the leaderboard. I'm still you know very active. Join my cable if you have time. Uh, just join me. All right. Um, see you next time. Have fun. Bye.